Welcome back to Two Minute Tips. Today, I want to share with you a highly effective instructional model called Gradual Release of Responsibility. The Gradual Release model slowly and intentionally transfers the cognitive workload of a lesson from the teacher to the students, resulting in successful independent learners. This process unfolds over four phases. I do, we do, you do together, and you do alone. Let's look closely at these phases. The first phase is called the I do phase. In this phase, the teacher models the lesson objective using a think aloud while the students listen and watch. This is a great opportunity for the teacher to highlight important academic language and the skills essential for mastering the lesson objective. For example, if I were teaching a lesson about making change, I'd share with my students a graphic organizer like this. Then they would listen as I talked through how to make change for an ice cream cone. In the next phase, the we do phase, the teacher transitions to the role of a guide, leading the class through a new example and allowing students to take part in the problem solving process. During this phase, the teacher asks guiding questions such as, where do we start? What comes next? Why do you think that's correct? And is there any other way to solve this problem? and they again review the important metacognitive skills and academic vocabulary of the lesson. Third, we come to the you do together phase. In this phase, students work collaboratively in pairs or small groups while the teacher circulates as a facilitator. This phase is crucial for English learners because it allows them time to practice and clarify language. Also, remember to take time during this phase to differentiate. Some groups may need more help than others, and this is a great opportunity to provide that assistance. Once students are ready, move them to the fourth and final phase, the you do alone phase. This is where students engage in independent practice and demonstrate mastery. The thing I love about this model is that it's highly adaptable. It can be done in any content area and at any grade level. And the progression of the four phases can take place in one lesson or over multiple lessons and multiple days. Remember, this model is especially beneficial for your English learners because it's predictable. The step-by-step -step approach becomes familiar and comfortable for your students. It's also highly scaffolded, beginning with the teacher modeling and slowly transitioning to independent practice. And the scaffolding integrates repetitive practice for the students. Language builds gradually. Students move from the domain of listening to more complex domains of speaking and writing. Ultimately, gradual release of responsibility builds confident and independent learners. Where can you fit these four phases into your teaching this week?